All right, pit stop. Number one, got to stop at Bucky's. I'm um, get some supplies. I'm tired as hell, y'all. I woke up at 4 a.m. It's like 6 o'clock now. I got to get some kind of caffeine in my system. Cocaine, weed, I don't know, something to wake me up. Come on, let's go. All right, you've never been in Bucky's, depending on where you go. Some of them have, you know, frozen bait, you know, shrimp, crab bait, squid, minnows, sardines. Mullet, stingray, more squid. Um, they have a plethora of lures and equipment, rods, rails. I'm in here for some rigs. I'm going for no grouper. Snapper rig. Okay, curse what I wanted is not here. I need the red rig. Only got a couple. And they're out. Great. Just great. All right, we're gonna have to improvise, man. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I only have like a couple of rigs. So that's not gonna work, man. They're sold out of the ones that I already have. So we're gonna have to improvise. We gotta improvise, man. Snapper rig. That is not gonna work. And it's not gonna work. Um, it's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long day. Let me let me figure this out. Yeah, I'm bougie. Yeah, I'm bougie. So what? Let's go. All right, looking for some ice. There's a dog. Water supply. Got live bait well. Oh, nice. there. Well, that's not heavy at all. <sighs> Alright, so they didn't have any extra red rigs. I got some ghetto stuff as a backup pan just in case. Um, on to pit stop number two. We gotta go meet MDLR fishing. Let's go. Vitamins and history books Psychology and a different way to look at it all Cause my perspective is broken There's Mr. MDLR fishing The bait bucket Let's see here Morning, brother. Morning, homito. <laughs> you need that uh, the ice chest? My little cooler. Um, I brought it. I'm not gonna get no live bait. I'm gonna no. try to use a sabiki rig. And yeah, I got a sabiki. You got a cast net or anything like that? I got a cast net too. Do you? Yeah, I'm just gonna get like a, just think like a pint of live and some a few dead mullet. That's cut bait. Twenty pounds of ice, so we good. Hmm. All right, so this is salt grass. Hands of dead mullet. I was like, all right, something, you know. Yeah. One guy said, I'll take it off. Oh, for <laughs> then after that, I had about fifteen people want some. Oh, you know, you're like, God damn it. Some people are just greedy. Can't stand to see somebody else get anything. Nah, I don't think so. That's why I was looking in okay. here. Oh, okay. Damn, I could have sworn Bucky's had some. You don't have any surf rods, do you? So you don't have any surf rods, do you? Nope. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I'll make it happen. You mean action? And if anything, what I'll do is stick my rods in here. I like try to back up against the oh, water. Oh yeah, that's all you need. Stick the damn rods right there. Nah, I got um. 
like three. I brought like two surf rods, like my two pin 8,000 mm -hmm. and my 5,000. Got plenty of rods. Probably buy or have made mm -hmm. a steelhead rod, which is like uh, what they, they use for trout fishing up north. Yeah, yeah. That's a two piece. I'll probably get that and then I can throw the what you call it's on it mm -hmm. these spinning reels that i got the 3000s okay i'm pretty sure it's more than enough i don't I need nothing so yeah i think big. i have to be playing with my surf rods i ain't trying to around with no sharks either nah we just trying to get, a, <laughs> get some reds <laughs> means to an end but i'm lying in a bed Alright y'all, here is the beach entrance. I'm kind of worried because I don't have 4x4. Four four. Right. Look at that, a beautiful scenery. Alright, so we're going to have to go find a spot. And yeah, let's see what we can do. Alright, come on, let's go. Alright y'all, so I think I want to try this spot. Um, when you kind of drive the surf i'm just trying to look for a good flat area that i can wade out to where the waves aren't too bad so this might be a good location here it's not super flat but it could work i think it could work beautiful scenery magical right all right let's get it time can never be your trusted friend or your sworn ally no it's the harshest mistress of all and life is just a chain a moment spent a thousand hellos and goodbyes maybe a love like ours can leave out its call I will keep you near. all right so we have some obstacles right Bucky's didn't have any more of the red rigs that I need. It's okay though. I still have two good ones, two fake ones. I can work with that. Um, the bait shops didn't have any mullet. Apparently winter, there's no mullet. All right, so it's all good though. Mark has a cast net, but for right now, we're gonna try to use a sabiki rig to catch um, some cut bait. So um, my partner in crime here is responsible for catching our cut bait. Not gonna lie, man, if I have to rely on Mark, I think we're gonna die today, y'all. I think we might die today, because Mark is out of his element, because y'all don't see Mark surf fishing, y'all. So, I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward, because you know how you always laugh at me when I'm on my kayak? This right here is not his element, you know what I'm saying? This is not his element. So I'm gonna have to school Grasshopper, to school Grasshopper how to do it, man. How you, how you feeling, man? I'm catching lunch with a speaky rig. <laughs> Okay, how about this, Mark? If you do not catch a redfish, trout, croaker, whiting, would you eat a gaff top? Nah, nah. I would rather eat your shrimp bro, <laughs> that you just bought earlier. We're going to do a first shrimp catch clean and cook on the beach because we're not eating gaff tops. So yeah, man, so I'm still getting our base camp set up. Mark is going to start working on a cut bait. You want to catch us a mullet, man? Yep, I'm going to try. You're going to try to catch us a mullet? Do mullet eat these like sabiki rigs? No. No? <laughs> Bro, if you can catch a mullet on a sabiki rig, you will be a legend. <laughs> you will be a legend. So yeah, man. So first, all right. So yeah, we're gonna go try to get some bull reds today, man. Something edible. Something edible. Not a bull red, but a good slot red, so we can eat it. <laughs> Let's go, man. You can do it, Mark. All right. So my partner in crime has already made a fatal rookie mistake. He's out there jigging with a sabiki rig, y'all. With no bait. He's out there. With no bait, man. Look, man, Mark, Mark, you gotta cut little pieces of shrimp on your sabiki rig. Once you toss it out there, you gotta wait 10 seconds and bring in the fish. He's been kayaking fishing for like 10 years, y'all. You take him to the surf, he's over there 
trying to jig a sabiki rig bless his heart bless his cute little heart look at that man that's that's him out there man i'm gonna give him like five more minutes he's already been out there 10 minutes just jigging mark you gotta put shrimp on it bro you gotta put shrimp on it come on let's go life's a coat of many colors it is never black and white can't have one without the other the dark without the light in the summer we were lovers with the flame our hearts would burn a flame the autumn would smother and leave this heart to yearn forever all right let's talk about gear baby all right y'all so what i'm gonna be using is two pin fierce 8000 surf rods right i'm gonna have a 12 foot and a 10 foot also i'm gonna have a seven foot 5000 pin fierce um, what I'm gonna be using is this red rig I got at Bucky's. It has a heavy duty mono, double shot, two circle hooks, along with a six ounce spider weight. So yeah, I'm geared up with that. I just need that man right there to catch us some bait. All I need him to do is catch us one or two croakers. That's it, that's it y'all. Mark has been out here for an hour trying to jig a sabiki with no shrimp. Still haven't caught nothing. Then he set up another rig with a piece of shrimp. We have his hook going up. The man really does not know how to surface, y'all. This is amazing to see. This is amazing to see. So I'm gonna gear up. I'm gonna show him how to do it. Yeah, I'm the professional now. He the grasshopper today. Yeah, let go. I partnered with the walk of shame. <laughs> this is the walk of shame, y'all. I want my money back, man. See, sir, don't work. Those, you gotta cut pieces of shrimp on that, sir. Oh. I thought you knew that. No, I thought they just, Threw it out there like that. When I went to San Diego, we dropped this down and we were catching, mm -hmm. I forgot if, uh, what what Morgan called it, but mm -hmm. we caught our bait with See, these, dropping straight down. Mm, I know what happened. He works. San Diego, Mark, you're in Gap. <laughs> <laughs> Gap Top Central. Gap Top Central, so man, get some little pieces of shrimp, yeah. put it on that, bam, 10 seconds, you're good. All right, y'all. So we're getting our Sabiki rig set up. I bought this rod for Rainbow Trout. Never caught anything with it, of course. Bro, I got like 10 pound mono <laughs> with this um, line. <laughs> so hopefully, <laughs> we got some small purple. That's it. Okay, six white. <laughs> six white. Oh man, got some miniature shrimp. I see. Ah, you're gonna cut them. Okay. Oh yeah, we we'll just cut them. I thought he was gonna send them like a big old buffet out there. Oh no, nah, man. Like huge old pieces of shrimp. Oh no, the little bitty pieces is the key, bro. You going you might catch a few hard heads, but she'll get some croaker. <laughs> <laughs> she'll get some croaker. Alright, so just little bitty pieces. Tiny shrimp. I mean honestly with Sabiki rigs, I like the smaller shrimp. I didn't realize they were this small though. There we go. and get the smallest ones with the smallest hooks. Watch this, Mark. I'm a matter of fact, I want you to go out there and cast this for me. I, I want you to, yeah, I'll okay. cast it for you. I mean, if you cast for you, you're gonna cast the fish because it's gonna take less than 60 seconds. No. Yeah? Okay. Uh, no, no. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, if it does, the props to you. Uh-oh. I heard the bill. That's a wave. Mark, your, your, shrimp, your shrimp was gone an hour ago, sir. If that shrimp is still on there. I just don't think there's any fish out there. This right. See, I didn't see nobody in that surf. This is the true testament. Oh, I forgot I got these on. I'm like, where the hell did I come from? This would be the true test.
All right, y'all, so Mark doubts my Sabiki rig. <laughs> he doubts the Sabiki rig. There we go. Got a little surf rod. Way too heavy, but there you go. Bro, just go cast it in the surf. I hope you don't backlash on this. <laughs> Be careful, it's not that expensive. Got the, uh, on the wrong side, right? Whatever. <laughs> All right, man, so Mark been out here for an hour, hasn't caught nothing. I got my whole base cut up, I got my Sabiki rig set up. Watch this, y'all. He's gonna catch a fish within 60 seconds. Oh, I ain't gonna live like this no more. Most of my life's been waging war. Till I found peace, I could have swore. What she did shook me to the core. And I ain't gonna live like that no well, I ain't gonna live like this no more Trouble comes when the barmaid pours Another four man who should have found the door Oh, when I get gone, you can hear me roar And I know I can't live like this no more Alright, he getting bites Getting bites Is he on? I told y'all, 60 seconds, baby. There we go. Is it a hard head? Lighting. I told you. I told y'all don't doubt me, bro. <laughs> He's a believer now, man. Never doubt your boy fishing trips. You know what I'm saying? Never doubt your boy fishing trips. And the marsh, he the king, but this is my territory. You know what I'm saying? You. <laughs> well, well, well. Bro, that's a, what is that, a whitey? That's a nice size whitey, bro. That's lunch, we gotta put, that's not cut bait. It's good bait. Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna take Perfect. Off and uh, go back out there and try to catch a few more. I got a bucket. There you go, man. You, and you lost, what, two? We gotta replace them shrimp. All right, so we got a good whitey. Gonna be eating something that's not a gap top. All right, update. So we got a nice size whiting in the cooler. Got to say that one just in case we got to eat it. We might catch nothing but gap top after that. We got a smaller whiting, which is a good size. I got that in the um, depth bucket, so to say. I'm going to cut that up. So Mark is using the sabiki rig. As I told him with shrimp, five minutes, we already got two fish. He was out there an hour, y'all. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. I got my sabiki rig. He's been out there five minutes. We got two fish already. So yeah, keep it moving. Let's go. Does anybody else be paranoid about worrying about snakes and critters and their waiters, or is that just me? Gotta get them in good shape. No snakes, no spiders, and etc. Huh? Quick, don't it? It happened quick. I hate getting wet, man. I know as a fisherman, getting wet is part of the job, but I'm not a fan of it, man. I told myself I was not gonna come surf fishing again until um, I got like a drone to drop bait or an RC boat. <sighs> but here I am, here I am. I hear a lot about some drones that People just break them, man. I just don't trust them. Spend 1600 to 2000 on a drone for it just to break. So I gotta wait out there. Damn so not taking my kayak out there. Cause I don't trust that. So I'm gonna start cutting up the bait. Try to get to the second gut. Cast right past it. Damn so I ain't walking to the third. I know sharks typically ain't this shallow, but you just never know. Kind of, you know, always be better to be safe than sorry. All right, let's start cutting up our bait, throwing out our surf rods, and get the big ones. All right, y'all, so here are our whiting, soon to be cut bait. So we're gonna just dispatch these. As I say, I like to do it humanely. 
we'll check out Whitey. Now, if you're squeamish, you might want to look away. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. He's out. He's definitely out now. He's definitely out. So we're going to cut the head portion here. There we go. Get another part here. There. And one more for the tail here. I don't know if I want that part. There we go. So that is our first cut bait. From there, do a quick blow. Make sure you don't feel pain. From there, nope, still awake, hold on. Cut them up here. There we go. Second piece here. There we go. Third piece here. There we go. And there is our cut bait. We use the whiting head and body simple as that all right y'all so i got my first surf rod set up um, we got the head the body uh, fresh whiting i'm gonna take it out uh, right into the second gut let go Mark got another whiting. <laughs> yeah? Was it the pro cure? Was it the pro cure? The pro cure? No, no. It's the shrimp. <laughs> I'm gonna take the Sabiki rig out there. See what we can do. Y'all watch the pole, okay? Let me know if I get a bite. So, did I get any bites? Y'all were watching, right? I better not have my bait tip. I really don't like fishing like this, but I mean, man. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Got to pay our taxes, baby. Oh, we're getting some hits, y'all. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Kind of a drag. I don't feel anything. Eh. Might be something small. Let's bring it in though. Okay, I think I feel a little head shake. And it's a stupid hard head. <laughs> oh man. Ah! All right, so it's about 1031. Um, Hot tide is noon, so we keep pushing back and back. 
hopefully by the tide rising these bait fish are coming closer this way predator fish are coming closer this way within casting range so we can get one of these bastards just want one just want one Mark got a hit. Oh, there you go, Mark. So Mark got a good hit. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, Mark is on. There you go. That cut bait. Do your thing, man. Y'all been caught a damn croaker. I contributed to the cause. It's a croaker, bro. Oh, that is a croaker. Huh? Don't know how that happened. On cut whiting. Somehow I managed to catch a croaker on whiting cut bait. How does that happen? I don't know. Oh, there we go. I think we on. Yep, definitely on. Got a bite. Here we go. Kind of a drag and raise it up. Raise it up. I think it's still there. Got birds working. Uh, I think it came off. No, it might still be on there. It might still be. Oh, no, it came off. It came off. I can't tell if it came off as it's swimming towards me. Okay, it came off. Swimming towards me. I don't know. What the hell's going on, y'all? Oh, no. Nah. It's definitely swimming towards me. Okay. I have no energy because I have not eaten in 24 hours. I'm trying to get ready for this challenge. Come on. What we got, baby? No gap top. No gap top. No, no hard head. That is. Woo. It's a big whiting. The bite's been picked up. Mark told me that he wasn't going to share any of his fish with me, so I had to catch my own. Survivor of the fittest out here, y'all. Survivor of the fittest. So we got the whiting. I right, finally contributed to the cause. Nice size whiting. Biggest one of the day, man. Mark told me that if I didn't catch anything, I wasn't going to eat. Doggy dog world, well, but we're going to get it done. Let go. All right, y'all, so I got my one whiting. I had to catch this to survive because uh, Mr. MDLR fishing over here said he was not going to share it with me. It's all good, though. We can get our own damn fish, okay? So, what we're going to do is go ahead and scale it. Super slimy. Super slimy. Yeah, man, we've been out here for almost like four or five hours. Got plenty of whiting, but we could not get anything edible besides that. But when it comes to like game fish, they're just not out there, man. I think having some fresh mullet would have been a game changer, but Bay Shop said that mullet isn't available right now or hard to come by. So it is what it is. Gotta improvise. All right, so we're gonna keep it simple with the recipe and just butter, salt, and pepper. I mean, what more do you need, really? For some sides, I got some barbecue sauce. Had three bags, but a damn seagull decided it wanted to help itself to one of my bags. I don't know what it is about birds and their hatred for me, but it is real, y'all. Got um, some dill pickles as well. And a little garnish, you know, we roughing it. But like I said, this is fishing for survival. We've never ate whiting. Whiting's delicious, man. I don't know, man. I don't know what's better, whiting or croaker. Mark, what do you like better, whiting or croaker? I don't got enough experience, man. Really? You ate whiting before, though, right? I've, I've eaten them both. Uh, yeah. I had croaker at home. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Yeah. Was it fried? Yep. I think that's the only way to eat it. When last time you ate whiting? Uh, 
probably two, two or so years ago. <laughs> two or so years ago? All right, y'all, man. Mark doesn't leave the marks often, y'all, so, you know. Now, the thing about surf fishing, y'all, I mean, honestly, you got to just come with the times, man. You really need a drone or a remote control boat to get out there. I know most people drop their bait like 300 yards to get past the third sandbar. You know, second sandbar is my limitation. I ain't going no farther than that. So I think you definitely need a drone to get out there, man, because right past the third bar, the water's like emerald green. You can see birds diving. So clearly that's where all the reds are at and probably sharks and etc. So for right now, we still got two bait rods out, or surf rods with some whiting heads. I'm trying to hit a Hail Mary at the last second because we're already shutting down, I'm about to cook. And maybe we'll get lucky and hit a red. I'm just waiting for the bells to go off. Got my 12 foot over there, chilling. Got my seven foot with two whiting heads in the second bar. Yeah, just doing it on the second. Between the second and the first sandbar, my line is going to the right. I don't know why. That can't be a fish or my bell would have went off. All right, so we're gonna keep it simple, man. I'm gonna finish scaling. We're gonna go rinse the whiting off in fresh salt water, gut it up, and um, we'll start cooking. Be back. All right, here we go. Yeah, y'all, so it's been about a year since my last cast clean to cook on the beach. So excuse me if I'm a little rusty. All right, so now that we got that, I think I can go ahead and take the head off. There we go. You ever notice all the meat in the head of a fish. I want to make like fish head stew. You ever made fish head stew before? Fish head stew, no. Yeah? Gross. Think about like all that meat. You boil it up. Come on, man. <laughs> Open your mind, Mark. There we go. I'm gonna take out the spine. Appreciate it. All right, so I'm taking out the spine. It's a lot of work, man. Way easier to go to Auto Whataburger. Go. That's it, man. All right, so this is what five hours of work look like. Five hours for one whiting fillet, and I'm going to enjoy it too. So um, let's go ahead and rinse her off, get our stove ready, and finish this damn video. All right, y'all, there's two types of fishermen. There's this type, which is me. You see that? Salt, pepper, in the stove. Then you got overachievers. Overachievers like MDLR fishing. Look at this, y'all. Look at this, man. I got a whole smorgasbord. Is this Benny Hanna's mark? Yeah, yeah, you know. Are, are we supposed to be roughing it? <laughs> Jesus Christ, y'all. Once again, mines. Yes. Mines. Yes. It's not about presentation. It's about taste, okay? He got me on presentation so far, but I know mine is gonna taste better. Come on, I gotta eat, man. I have eight in 24 hours. I'm about to pass out. Uh. We'll put the butter in there. Just like that. Some salt, pepper. Have of salt. Checking on my stove temperature, which is hard to tell at night or at the day. Hot. 
All right, so I'm cooking my fish, but the wind is killing me, bro. My stove isn't getting hot enough, which is a problem. I gotta figure out which way this wind is blowing. It's coming directly to the south. We might have to just turn our stove completely around. Yeah, we gotta turn our stove around. Cause this wind is coming from the south. Yeah, look at that, you see that? All right, we gotta adjust y'all, hold on. I'm gonna have to make an adjustment. See if I can see it. There we go. That's better. That's better. Yeah, man, the wind was killing it, man. There we go. Now we're getting some aroma. You see, get a nice sizzle going. I can see my flame now. It's more concentrated. There we go. There we go. Let's go check on our competition over here. Oh my God, look at this man. <laughs> y'all, y'all just see me put salt and pepper. Mark, that's that good old fashioned. Ooh, I can smell it from here. Lacking, baby. Mm, what is that called? What kind of season is it? Uh, Zatarain's. Zatarain's? Yeah, you know you can't go wrong. Ooh, it's it's generic. Generic. All right, y'all, so Mark is making some um, Vanek Ray in Louisiana fish tacos or something like that. Listen, man, I know right now it looks like he can cook better than me. Look, man, look, look, he didn't tell me he was doing all this. He's saying, I'm chilling. I'm going to keep it basic. You know what I'm saying? But I show up. Now, he got a whole kitchen and trying to be all fancy. Man, we'll see. Keep that right there. Just get on doing this thing. Set up right here. Focus in on ours, get that tail. Nice and crisp. I think we're almost done. Yeah. Almost done. Just got ASMR right there. do this more often. <laughs> this whiting is delicious, man. Bro, I told you whiting was delicious. That's the secret stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. There we go, y'all. I see how I get down, you know what I'm saying? Get a little line. Flip these fellas really quick. There you go. You want some um, barbecue chips? I got another bag. I'm good, bro. You good? Yeah. Alright, here we go, y'all. Taste my fish. See that right there? Mmm. Oh, that's good. That's really good. That's really good, y'all. Mark still got like 15 fish to cook. Mmm. Well, I was catching for you. <laughs> Huh. I thought you weren't going to catch nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it did get a little sketchy there for a second. Yeah, it did. Made the comeback, though. Mm. Oh, word. I do believe I just ate a bone. <laughs> for 
forever No storm will tear 